We have gone camping. We have just arrived at Sugar Bay, is it? Sugar Park. Sugar Park. In B Sands. In B Sands. So hello everyone, we are on a day off, we live on a campsite and we have escaped to another campsite, but we are going to be in a tent. Now it's the tent that you saw when we were doing our little vlog a few weeks ago and look at this campsite that we've found. I mean, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Um, well, it's just perfect, it's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to sit outside our tent and just literally chill out from quite a very, very busy bank holiday. Uh, fortunately, the sun isn't out today, is it? No. Okay, we're going to pitch our tent just there. And if I pan you round, now this campsite does have a little toilet, which I haven't checked out just yet, but I will be. Um, and we're just going to sit and have a barbecue. We're the only ones here. Um, and it's £10 a night that you put in a little honesty box, which is just fantastic. Real traditional, good old fashioned camping. Isn't that right? It is. So join us in a minute as we set up our new tent. So we're almost there putting up our tent. Um, so I will scan you round and just give you a midway look at the tent. Now, as we said before, it's an Easy Camp Mondino. I think it was £80, wasn't it? We can't... We think it's either £80 or £85, we can't remember. It's a six berth, but we bought a... Obviously, there's only two of us and the dog and half a tonne of stuff, but we bought it just in case. This is it without the in the tent going in. Just in case it rains, you've got somewhere to actually sit and it's not too massive and isn't going to take two days to put up. That is supposedly where two people sleep, although they're probably only going to be children. And there is quite a big uh, area for adults where four people are going to sleep, which makes me laugh because when do four adults all sleep together? In fact, don't answer that question. So if we scan around, there we are. The sun is trying to make a breakthrough. Um, so <laughs> I'll just take you over to our car. Now bearing in mind, we are only here for one night and effectively two days. We're allowed to stay here until late on Thursday, which is fabulous because a lot of places they will say cheerio at 11 o'clock. So let's just show you what we've bought for one night. The car is full. You know, it's just crazy. I just cannot. I've bought, tried to bring the bare minimum, but you just don't know what the weather's going to do, what we're going to do. We, we might go coastal path walking, or we might just sit and chill. I mean, it's just ridiculous, but there we go. So we're prepared for all weathers. It's going to be sunny tomorrow, so we might have a barbecue tomorrow, and we might go down to... Uh, the little cafe on the beach called Britannia at the beach um, where you can take your own alcohol which pleases Mark greatly uh, and go and have some fish and chips um, so we will catch you later well, here we go. Tent's up. Mark's having oh my gosh your glass is empty Mark what's oh, going God. on I must top it up see I'm actually drinking this is the person yeah. that doesn't drink is now drinking because I thought if you can't beat them, join, join them. them. Exactly. Yeah, so let's give you a little tour. Now this is the old camping stove which I've had for about 20 odd years. Still going strong. I knew one day I would need it again. Okay, and then coming into the whatever you want to call this, the foyer. Um, and here you will see there is absolutely no way you could get two adults in there. But as there's only two of us anyway, we're going to use that just for storage. So, everything we need there. I've upturned the crate. I am trying to be minimalistic. Unfortunately, it still didn't work, as you saw by the car. And then we have 
our bedroom, which is actually quite a big size um, for a bedroom. There's supposedly need four adults in here, but that's never going to happen. Um, and our stuff there. I put the dog's bed there, but I don't think there's any way she'll be going in it. So, are we quite pleased with this then, Mark, do you reckon? We are, yeah. Um, until we get our converted van. This is our wild camping. Well, it's not On wild, a is it? <laughs> <laughs> so this will have to do until we decide what we're doing. Um, we're always planning something, aren't we? We are. Uh, we do have a little dream scrapbook. So any ideas that we have, people we meet, we're inspired by, we pop them in that. Um, we sort of know what we're going to do for the next five years, don't we? See where it takes us, won't we? Yeah. We've got lots of ideas, so life is always exciting for us, isn't it? It is. So that's, that, that's the best way to be. And as you can see behind, when we're eating our bacon butties tomorrow morning, and hopefully the sun will be shining, won't it? Hopefully, yes. Um, that is what we'll be looking at. I mean, this is ridiculous. And just tell them what you've just read on one of the campsite forums. Which... Hey, just put this in perspective. We have paid for a six-man tent, I know there's a tent, ten pounds for one night here in Devon with a sea view. Like that. Look at that. We're the only ones on this campsite. So the dog, little Miss Bear here, is running free. And that's lovely because she wouldn't go anywhere anyway. But you do have to tend to keep them on their leads, don't you? But on the forum, somebody with a van with four kids went to get a quote for two weeks in August, £1,500. You could go abroad for that, couldn't you? That is ridiculous with your own van. I would expect a five-star well, static campsite with clubs, everything with for that. I wouldn't pay it. No. I would go. Do you remember that time we went to Turkey? Mm. And we got a flight out there for 30 quid. And, my, and it was 30 quid. And we stayed in a... Hotel. Sem, Hotel Semre in... To Turgatres. Turgatres. Four it, pounds a night, wasn't it? Each. And it was... It was, it was just, eight pound fifty a night for both of us. I mean, you really do have to look around. Um, and that's all I used to do, wasn't it? Yeah. They used to say um, about us that we had more flying hours than an easy jet pilot, didn't they? They did. Now we're easy camp. <laughs> Which it is, look, easy camp. Yeah, there you are. So we hope we're going to have one hell of a great hot summer. We're going to chuck this in the boot of the Pathfinder. And well, hopefully we're going to be coming here. Um, because we're midweek is our day off, hopefully there won't be anybody here. But as there's some cows. And there's a bull. I mean, here, there, this, there's a bull in this field, and he has a choice of all these cows. So he must be a very, very happy bull. So I did say to Catherine that you'd probably want to come back as a bull. Yeah, probably. <laughs> a busy bull. A very busy bull. Look at them. I mean, and this is the campsite. I mean, it's just absolutely fab. There's a toilet up there. There's no shower here, unfortunately. So you probably couldn't stay too long here. But it's just enough for us for one night, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, so, yes, we're extremely happy. So we will be going off for a walk shortly. We're going to do a barbecue tomorrow. I don't know. I might do one today. Oh, might you? Yeah. Oh, but we will be going down to the beach to get our fish and chips at some point. Um, so we'll catch you then. So here we are at um, B Sands, looking across there over towards Tall Cross and Slapton. There's Mark, what a view. We've got Start Bay Lighthouse and the great thing is dogs are allowed on this beach so that's a winner for us. And um, over there is the Britannia which serves the most amazing fish and chips, weren't they Mark? I've never tasted such good fish and chips and years ago we had a family business uh, in fish and chips back in Bristol um, and I have to say they do match the quality of those. Um, so it'll be interesting to find out what they fry their fish in. Uh, but that's a lovely little place to um, go and eat, especially if you like fresh fish that's all caught locally here. Um, it was very nice, wasn't it? There's also little village stores in there as well. So as we walk up through the little village of B Sands, 
these are all the little dinky cottages. Aren't they cute, Mark? Would you swap your cottage for one of these? Yeah. Yeah, and me. Yeah, and I have to say, this has got to be one of our top four sites now. Uh, we're walking on up here now to the toilet block. And like I said yesterday, you've got an old-fashioned honesty box, which I just think is, is real camping, really getting back to basics. There's a water tap there, and then you've got a water tap over by that tree. Okay, so let's show you into this toilet. You've got two toilets here, freshly painted. is it um, for a field campsite I'm really rather impressed with that that is so good I mean this really is good old-fashioned traditional camping that goes in there too at the village and there you have a little price list any of you who want to book Sugar Park caravan and campsite and then here you come into the entrance now as we come back on into our field now just checking if the dinner's ready is the dinner ready mark Almost. so as you can see we're now packing up ready to go back uh, and that's about it really so we've had a fab day now we have the challenge of getting the tent into that bag so uh, we'll see you next time won't we Marcus we will uh, next week we're going back up to Wales uh, to check out the cottage make sure everything's okay um, and we'll show you some of some of the views up there shall we we will yeah we'll take some of our film up there okay see you then have a good okay, week then. Bye, bye bye then.